Oh. The meat is delicious. It's delicacies all over the world. And as you guys can see, look at the leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this right here. Oh my. Wow, that is, that is beautiful. That is if you guys want to purchase any of these beautiful items, exoticleatherfashion.com. Be helping us out and supporting the invasive species removal here in South Florida. Okay, so we are back out here. And yes, we are doing iguana removal. We have our friend John right here. How's it going, John? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Tell me a little bit about what we're doing today. Uh, I guess we're clearing out this corporate center. Uh, a lot of iguanas out here, A lot here, of right? iguanas out here by the lake. We are out here, we're gonna be trying to remove them, but wait, we're not done. Let's show you guys the hardware that we're gonna be working with. Check it out. Ooh. So this is a, 22 caliber cricket. Uh, it's been modified internally by uh, Georgia Air Guns, Charlie at Georgia Air Guns. We added a uh, sumo uh, silencer on top of the factory silencer. Very nice, very nice. So it's gonna make that gun just a little bit more quiet, right? A lot of quiet, yeah. And we, as you guys can see, check it out, the orange tip right there, just to let, if there's any surrounding people out here, just to know that this is not a real firearm, this is an air rifle, which just gives people, you know, a kind of a heads up. And we're gonna be going off terrain. Well, John is actually, we're gonna try to get some really cool clips. Your, your off-road rig right here, it's a... Yeah, I use this uh, around the neighborhood where I used to live. I, I, I moved to Lake Worth now, but where I used to live, it was a golf course across the street. I had one lady on the golf course. She said she spent over 11,000 uh, in repairs to her pool and the foundation of her house because they burrowed underneath her pool, they burrowed underneath her house. They would die underneath her house and then stink up the house for weeks at a time. Oh, uh, so when I, she started crying and hugging me when I, when I offered to clean up her backyard. That's, so these these iguanas, real happy. A, lot, a lot of people don't realize, John, that they think iguanas only live in trees. They don't understand that they burrow and they make holes and they make nests. And that's really one of the big problems because Florida, we got a lot of bridges and we have a lot of houses next to bodies of water. So if these animals are here and they're digging holes, I mean, eventually something catastrophic will come. Oh, what? Well, look who it is. It isn't the man himself. Hey, how you doing? All right, Roger. The man. Hey, John. John. How are you? How's a legend himself. Mr. Brian Wood. How are we doing today, man? Excellent, excellent. Gonna have some fun. So that is the ammo we're going to be shooting today. The Hades 22 caliber Diablos, 15.8 grain. So you guys can see this gun right here. It's got a mag holder. You can hold four. And four plus each one. of them, oh, four plus one? Well, four plus one in the mag. Oh, okay, okay, one okay. In the pocket. Okay, so each of the mags hold 14, right? Oh, wow, okay, let's go. Okay, real quick, we gotta get clearance from the policia. We found one spot that we're gonna be honing in on right now. We spotted probably about, I don't know, five, 10 iguanas, but there was a giant alpha male. Giant. Monster, it looks like Godzilla. Oh, 
but the thing is the money sharp shooter Got him. Got him. In the bag. Great shot, Captain. Oh, that's nice a big right one. Look at that headshot right there. Pro! Thank you. You guys seeing it right here? It is going down, all right? We're putting the smack down on these giant iguanas. Check it out, look. Look at that. We have a giant alpha male that they got and a, a breeding female. Both of them are huge. The alpha male is probably about five, six pounds. The female is probably about a good four pounds. She's almost as big as the alpha. And, and as you guys seen, we took one out in the water as well. You guys already know what they were trying to do. All right. These animals out here, invasive creatures, super invasive, and they are on a mission to breed, reproduce, and basically claim territory that's not theirs. But not today, because we're out here with Brian from Iguana Catchers. We have our boy John behind the sniper and we're teaching iguanas super fat lessons and putting them in the bag. All right, well you guys seen how the hunt went. It was pretty epic, kind of a cloudy day, but you guys seen we put tons of iguanas in the bag but I uh, want to give a special thanks to John for coming out here. Sharpshooter, you guys seen it right there. Took a lot of iguanas out. And of course, Brian for having us on this job. But guys, we got a lot of iguanas. We got about 20 of them today, all right? But don't worry, none of this is going to waste because all the meat, we are going to clean them, skin them, eat all the meat and the skins. We are actually doing something with the skins. Mr. Brian Wood, why don't you go ahead and uh, what we're doing with these skins all right what we're doing with the skins we will call them hides so i've been doing alligator hides for 38 years and so we manufacture products from the alligator hides and then the snakes and the pythons become a problem so i started producing products from the pythons and uh then now we've got the iguana problem so we tan the iguana into leather and then you turn them into the different colors that you should choose and then we turn them into the products for sale. Genuine iguana from South very, Florida. Very cool. And I see we got some mask right here. Yes, this is actually a mask. Uh, it's an N95 mask for COVID. 
and so you got you got an alligator and python and it has n95 filter in it so that way there you're protected and you're, you're styling wherever you go mm -hmm. very cool look at that and to match your mask there's even wallets available made out of iguana look how oh my goodness the gator fans this stuff is really beautiful it's high quality and like i'm feeling it right now it's really soft and, and really luxurious look at that right there go ahead put your you credit belts, cards wallets oh, purses jackets motorcycle seats anything an alligator and this is actually probably the best case scenario because not only are we removing these invasive species humanely but we're utilizing them for food and also the hides guys we don't want to let any of these animals go to waste even though they are invasive we want to try to utilize them. if i wanted to purchase one of these how can i exoticleatherfashions.com exoticleatherfashions.com we're going to put it right here also in the link down below it's the holidays coming up and you know this is some pretty interesting cool stuff it's handmade it's genuine and you're going to be helping us out and supporting the invasive species removal here in South Florida. Well, today, uh, sharpshooter right here. Had a good day. I'm sure the, the weather didn't cooperate with us. We're happy to get what we got though, Next right? week, yeah, we did good considering that the, it's uh, not their, their optimal weather to come out. Hang on, get true, we weren't expecting to see too, too much, but as you guys seen, we did get a decent amount. And Brian, any, any final Thank words? Thank you, Raj. No, a pleasure being out here with you. I'm uh, glad I took up uh, to come out and show, show, show you what we can do. And hopefully we get more people that will get behind us and help to utilize this invasive creature instead of throwing it away, utilizing the meat for human consumption. Absolutely, man. That's what it's all about, guys. Removing the invasive species, but of course, utilizing the animals. The meat is delicious. It's delicacies all over the world. And as you guys can see, look at the leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this right here. Oh my. Wow, that is that is beautiful. That is some good stuff right there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to purchase any of these beautiful items, exoticleatherfashion.com. Thank you again, man. All right, buddy. It's a pleasure meeting you, Brian. All right, thank pleasure, you. Pleasure, man. Enjoy. Woo!